Hey y'all, welcome back to my product review series here on Alicat Customs, where today I'm doing this uh, product review on a uh, JEGS uh, SFI approved flex plate. So when James first got here and we started putting the car on the lift, he was bringing all his boxes in to, for the uh, torque converter swap. I noticed he had a, a thin white box that he brought in here that looked like it was shaped, shaped to the same size of a flex plate. And then he informed me that we've been going to the track and everything using uh, his factory flex plate. And he decided that uh, he was done playing games and likes his feet where they are. Where they are. So uh, he decided he's going to step up to a SFI proof flex plate to go along with a... Uh, uh, this upgraded torque converter because he's trying to catch that uh that comma on that horsepower number so uh you know tell us something about your flex plate and why you run it yeah sure thing yeah so i decided to also upgrade the flex plate while we're going to swapping out the torque converter um i get the, i get the budget deal um you know obviously you know most of the, most of the stuff on this car was budget based in my but but as we crank those those horsepower numbers up we want to make sure that we're being safe while doing it so uh yeah, these, these stock flex plates are everywhere. They're cheap. Yeah, you can get them at a junkyard or wherever. But um, definitely recommend, if you're making any kind of real power, definitely recommend going to an SFI flex plate. Okay. It's, just, it's just a good idea. I mean, you, ne you never know when, you know, one of these may fail. And if something like this comes apart, you know, you could injure yourself okay. or injure somebody outside your car. And definitely don't want to do that. So I um, definitely recommend making that upgrade. Um, and for less than 100 bucks, it can be done. Yeah. These, th these things are, are affordable, they're reasonably priced, and I definitely recommend making that, making that upgrade. Yeah, I mean, you talk about a car, you know, in the high, high horsepower range, you know, above 500 up to 1,000 horsepower like this car, launching off the trans brake. I mean, folks, that we've all seen, we've all seen the, the uh, videos and stuff at racetracks, folks coming off the trans brake and, and blowing trans uh, torque converters up, blowing flex plates up. I mean, that's that's a bad explosion. It's and it can be very dangerous or deadly. I mean, we we have a deadly enough, dangerous enough game that we're playing racing anyways. Uh, so we might as well try to be as safe as we can. And, and stuff like these SFI approved uh, flex plates like this. I mean, it's just for a hundred dollars. That's that sure is cheaper than a hospital bill and trying to rebuild a car. So that's uh, let's go ahead and get this thing put in put in the car so uh, we can get it back to the dyno and go go see uh, go see Austin and uh, see what. See if he can do some magic on this car. Let's do it. Everybody's gonna love that. Yeah. <laughs> Who torques these things? <laughs> Who indeed? Uh, it's all good. Got the pattern. Sorry, Jeff. Yep. So, James, now that you've got your, uh, finally got your transmission put in place, uh, you want to get some uh, final thoughts on that uh, flex plate? Yeah, so uh, great piece. Uh, I did run into one issue, uh, got everything bolted up, and then uh, realized that one of the holes was actually a little bit oblong. Now, I, I am using some fairly large bolts yeah. so, uh, that were provided by PTC, so I want to use the stuff they provided. Mm -hmm. So I did have to take my drill and kind of clean it up just a little yeah. bit. But uh, once we got that done, I went to start the car and it made a nice little grinding noise. <laughs> so we then realized, okay, I need to shim the starter a little bit. So no big deal, threw a shim on the starter, uh, put it all back together, fired it up. Sounds great. Sounds good. So. Especially uh, since it's about 35 degrees outside and uh, this thing hadn't cranked in a month. It's uh, been a month. Right, so. right out of month. So yeah, he, with the 85, he, he had to crank on a lot. So. I, had to, I, had to, yeah. I had to crank on it, it just a little bit. So so. Um, well, I'm glad you're happy with it and, and I will feel a whole lot safer standing beside you while you're launching that car. I won't have to dodge uh, flex plate parts. Any shrapnel or anything. Shrapnel when this <laughs> thing takes off. So uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you check in the description box, I'll have an affiliate link to where you can pick up a, uh, 
a, fl a flex plate like what he installed in this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe at the bottom of the page. And uh, keep on coming back here to Alley Cat Customs.